Rod Kennedy from, um, I live up at Skipton, but I'm down at Berrybank at a minute with a property we've got down here. Uh, probably average rainfall, 22 inch down here. Um, since uh, yeah, it's dried off the last few years sort of thing, so yeah, harvesting wheat at the minute, uh, probably got four or five days to go, so yeah, hopefully. Uh, well, this is our third uh, chase, uh, chaser bin. Um, just upgraded this one to try and fit two boxfuls in comfortably, and um, yeah, look, they're just yeah, good things. They seem to uh, seem to last, and uh, had no trouble in um, resale value and selling them. So that's been a uh, reason to get into another one, and. Um, yeah, the mother bin just makes things easy for truck drivers to come and they can start themselves and uh, keeps motors out of paddocks and keeps everything safe. So, um, yeah, we're, we're wrapped with the mother bin and uh, the chaser bin, yeah, just looks after it's the headers itself and brings everything back to uh, a safe spot to load trucks. Nice. The um, chaser bin, how many tonnes that? Uh, 31 tonne. And, and the mother bin? Uh, 70, 70 yep. tonne with a closed lid, which we find good down here. Sometimes rains a bit, so it's good to be able to shut and um, open up quite easily. So And wind, wind's quite good sometimes just to stop the um, blowing away. So. Yep. Service been good from Dunstan's? Yep, fantastic. Yeah, now we've uh, the old chaser bin we just sold recently. We rebuilt augers and um, put them all back in before we sold it. And um, yeah, they did all that work and any spare parts hasn't been a problem. And yeah, no, they've been good. Not that we've had many issues with any of them, but uh, but uh, flights just worn out over time. It was quite old in the end. So um, no, no, really good. Can't fault them. So no, yep. excellent. Had a look at any other ones when you've been buying new ones? Uh, I'll probably look at uh, look at them, but uh, no, just if you're if you're onto something that sells easily, I find that uh, that good. And uh, no, I like uh, well, I like everything sort of red, and then uh, we've got all the orange orange stuff as well. So no, it's good, good. Depending on uh, headers, and um, yeah, they, they seem to get bigger, and uh, the storage sites probably don't keep up as much. We're building a bit of on-farm storage ourselves, but um, yeah, probably mother being a little bit bigger would take the pressure off the trucks. Um, but at the minute, yeah, with on, we're sort of um, going on-farm storage way more, so now we're quite comfortable with what we've done, and. Um, yeah, got a fire extinguisher on the latest one, which uh, which we just think's good. The fire truck's always here in the paddock, but the paddocks are getting a bit bigger, and um, it's nice to have that feeling that there's something out there in case something happens. So, yeah. mm, good. Yeah. Uh, just structurally, the, how they're built, and Australian made. I always like uh, like supporting uh, Australian thing up in Kerrang, and um, yeah, got a few spare parts in Ballarat as well, which is close to here. Um, no, just structurally, I think they're uh, well. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere, and uh, they last for a long time. So, and resale values, uh, resale values key. So, yeah, I don't think you lose. Uh, I don't think we've lost any. We buy one and you sell them for the same price a few years later, because that's the way it is. So.